Today I'm going to be teaching how and why we feel pain. Pain is defined as discomfort from tissue injury or chemical stimuli. Despite what you may think from past experiences, pain is good. It protects our body against harmful damage and teaches us not to do whatever causes us to experience that pain again. So how exactly do we experience pain? There is a set of receptors in the skin called nociceptors, which allow awareness of tissue injuries. These nociceptors are connected to small and large nerve fibers. The large nerve fibers carry non-nociceptive information, meaning non-painful stimuli, while the small fibers carry nociceptive information, meaning painful stimuli. It is thought from the famous gate control theory that pain depends on the balance of flow of information between the small and large fibers. Both small and large fibers connect to the inhibitory interneuron, or the eye interneuron, and the protection neuron, or the P neuron. When there is no stimulation, both fibers are quiet with no information flowing, and the eye interneuron blocks the P neuron, which means the gate is closed. When the gate is closed, no pain is felt. When there is non-painful stimulation, this activates the P neuron, but also activates the I interneuron in the large fiber, so the gate is still closed. Thus, no pain. Only when there is painful stimulation do the fibers, small fibers become activated. Remember that the small fibers carry no susceptive or pain information. The small fibers activate the P neurons and block the I interneurons. Since the I interneurons are normally blocking a pain message from going through, but that is now blocked, this means a pain message can go through. This means the P neurons are free to connect with the brain and the gate is now open. Once the message is sent out, it interacts with many neurons until it reaches the part of the brain that senses pain. 